I'm coming in hot. Welcome back, guys. This is Jonathan from Rise Ministries, and today we're going to be talking all about love because our world is in short supply of it. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 says, For people will love only themselves and their money. It is very clear in this verse that God recognizes that we as humans focus on two things most importantly ourselves and what what pleasures that we can get we can ha obtain for ourselves in spite of everybody else and also about how much money we can make the verse continues by saying they will be boastful and proud scoffing at god disobedient to the parents and ungrateful verse 3 says they will consider nothing sacred they will be unloving and unforgiving they will slander others and have no self-control they will be cruel and hate what is good verse 4 they will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride, and love pleasure rather than God. So we live in a society that puts pleasure at a premium. Um, we, as a culture, we seek pleasure above all things. That's where the phrase, you only live once, comes from. It comes from this idea that you must take risk in order for you to obtain pleasure, in order for you to love yourself. That... By you treating yourself to all these different fine things is how you showcase self-love. One thing I do have to tell you, brothers and sisters, is that even though these nice things that we may be able to gain for ourselves definitely do make us feel better, that is only temporary. It is not a true love. It is something that is here today and gone tomorrow. True love comes in the form of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. It is a love that never gives up, never loses hope, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. You see, this is the love that doesn't cut people off right away just simply because they've disappointed you. This is the type of love that gives a second chance to those people who've hurt you. This is the type of love that is willing to empathize with other people. You see, so often in our society, we are not able to empathize with our brothers and sisters or because we don't understand what they're going through. But real love says, you know what? I don't fully understand what you're going through. I don't really understand why you are depressed, but I'm here for you. And I'm a shoulder for you to cry on or you to listen to. That's what real love is. Look, even though everybody else has left you, even though everybody else has turned their back on you, I'm going to be right here for you. And, I'm, and it's whatever or however long it takes, just know that you can count on me. Now, only one person in our, only one person can show us that true amount of love because us as humans, we all get tired. And that one person's name is Jesus. Jesus will always showcase that love because his love is enduring his love is forever you see in verse in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 when it talks about the things that remain on this on this earth it mentions three things it mentions faith hope and love but what it says is the greatest of these things is love and the reason why the greatest of these things is love is because it is was jesus love for us that allowed him for, to die on the cross for your sin and my sin, just so we can come back together with him and be reacquainted with him and that we will have access to him whenever we want to, regardless if it's two, three o'clock in the morning, that you are able to go and have access to the promises that he has for your life, that you can have find hope in the love that he has for you, that you will be saved, redeemed, and sanctified by his love. So our job is to reflect that same love that he gave to us in our daily lives so that we are able to get, tell that brother and sister to get up or encourage them or encourage them and tell them that I'm not giving up on you, regardless of how much you piss me off, regardless of if you've hurt me before, you know what? I've hurt my father so many times before 
that I, I understand that since he never gave up on me, I'm not really allowed to give up on you. So brothers and sisters today, I challenge you that you showcase the same love God gave to you when you was the one who was struggling. When you was the one in that ditch and the world betrayed you to showcase that to somebody else. Or maybe use this message to reconnect with somebody that you have not connected to. To reach out to somebody during this crisis who may be struggling, who may not have an actual family. To be a family to those who have been rejected, dejected. And to just send a text if you have to, to just let them know that you are there for them. So I pray, brothers and sisters, as we close, that we can become, showcase God's love to others and allow for other people to see God in us. Let's pray. Father God, we come before you. We thank you for your perfect love, your love that goes beyond any understanding because we would have given up on ourselves a long time ago, but you refused to give up on us. So today I pray, Father God, that we learn what is true love and not give up on the people of this world, to not give up on our friendships and not give up on our marriages and not give up on, on, our, on our family just because they don't understand us, Father God. I pray that you continue to be there for us and continue to showcase how to truly love and how to never give up, because that is what you've commanded us to do. In your name we pray, amen and amen. This has been Jonathan, Rise Ministries, like and subscribe.